everyone. Welcome to my art channel, Ansys Artistry. I'm back to painting after a few weeks off. I was out of the country visiting my family and friends, but now I'm back. For today's painting, I have a canvas size 11 by 14, and I'm going to be doing a Dutch pour, and I plan on using the mini blower. The colors that I'm going to be using today are prominently gray and a shade of red. I'm hoping it would look more like scarlet. These two colors are the colors of University of Nevada, Las Vegas, which is my alma mater. So today, those two are going to be my base colors. I'm going to use them as a split base and add a little bit of black and white in between, maybe a little bit of um, iridescent graphite to give that extra shine. But predominantly, this painting is going to be gray and scarlet. My design for today is going to be a double split. I want to have red in the middle and gray on either side. So I'll put down those two base paints and I will bring you right back. All right, I have put down the base paint. So what I did was I put the gray on the bottom. I put the gray on the uh, top. I spread them out and by the time I put the red, I saw the shape had changed a little bit. So maybe next time I should go um, gray, red, and then gray. Well, something new every day, right? All right, let's pop these air bubbles now. All right, so we don't have a whole lot of uh, colors for layering. It's going to be uh, predominantly gray and scarlet like I said so we're going to put a little bit more of the scarlet and gray into this at the edges these colors I have mixed it with Floetrol and water and both of them or all the colors that I'm using have similar consistency I believe that's good enough for the red and now for the gray. All right, like I said, I'm going to add a little bit of black into it, but I don't want to add along this line just teeny bit here and there let's see how this one works okay <laughs> and a little bit of tight not titanium um, the zinc white which is actually the transparent shade I wanted to add this iridescent graphite a little bit. I'll go right next to these colors here. It's almost same as that, you know, base color, just a teeny bit of shine in there. Take this one out. Okay, I'm going to be using this mini blower. Let's see if this has enough power to blow those paints. All right.
Look at that. Perfect. I wanted black and white, just a teeny bit here and there. Predominantly gray and scarlet. Go Rebels. I was hesitant and using that mini dryer because last time it didn't work for me. I was barely able to move the paint. Maybe the battery did not have enough charge in it, I guess, but wow, look at this. I love it. I'm just going to blow this out a little bit. I don't want to change a whole lot. Should I leave that black like that or should I try and blend it in? Every time I've put my finger in there and modified it, this time I'm just going to let it be. Let's see how it dries. All right, let me fix these edges. Everything else looks great. Love this color combination. All right, let me fix the edges and then I'll bring you down for a closer look. All right, here is the closer. A beautiful gray and scarlet blue out. Like I said, go Rebels. Just look how pretty it looks. I love when the black gets blown into the red. It's super. I love the bits of white and black you know, blending into the gray and red. Very nice. These, uh, you know, the border shapes that, you know, these colors make, makes the painting extra interesting. And there's the red border right there. I love it. All right, can't wait to show you guys how this painting dries, but for today, this is it. I've completed two years of being on YouTube. Thanks to all you guys for supporting me through your subscription, likes and comments, and keep watching. This wouldn't be possible without you guys. So thank you so much. I appreciate you being here and I hope to receive continued support in the future as well. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye, happy pouring.